So we are to know you are going illegal gun seized on Chartwood Lane and a three man get charged for it. But if that is not bad news enough, some people say a good news, you know, good works by the police. May I give you know, some positive news at the end of this video, you know. But listen to that one, yeah. What a piece of disgrace facing a Jamaican police officer. You don't know, hear it? Vagina cocaine? No, man. You know what? Hmm? I don't waste the time. Let's jet into these stories. Yeah man, so welcome to Jet. I know it's been a while, you know. It's a long time we not put out a video, you know. But you don't know there you now. And first and foremost, you know, we must give thanks and praise to the creator of the universe, Father Yahweh or Yahuwah, and his son, Yahushua Hamashiach, or Yahshua, modern day Jesus. So here you are now, if you're just joining me for the first time on this platform, you know welcome i must welcome you to jet a warm welcome and before you even go do anything or go any further into this video touch up the subscribe button because here you are now we don't want you to miss out on all of these positive and important news flash because we have to keep our people and our subscribers them informed you know we have to keep on informed and therefore as soon as we drop a video we must Keep you informed and a big thank you for those who have been supporting this channel man yes man me not forget to know respect for the support you know blessings always so we are getting into these stories now you know yeah man illegal gun seizure man a big thing that you know man because you know a lot of people are talk about the police them now try to control the crime now but this is good right by the cleaner it says illegal gun seized and three man charged so the story go on to say cops assigned to the specialized operation branch have charged three men following the seizure of a luger m5 pistol with a magazine containing four nine millimeter cartridges shortwood lane in st andrew on thursday so thursday boy i them find this gun you know in a shortwood lane you know and it look like say, they not only say them find the gun then they find a man them behind the gun so it's not like say an empty find like somebody find them with the police them are making up. His story go on to say charged with the legal possession of firearm and ammunition are 28 year old Alric Crowey or Cre, otherwise called Rasta, 28 year old Akeem Thomas alias Kemi, both of Shortwood Lane, and 28 year old Nicardo Henry, otherwise called Nick of Galloway Road, Kingston 11. So you find say a Kingston 11 man get caught up you know right down in a St. Andrew they say you know so you know say some of them call him an imported man yeah man so the police report is that at about 12 30 p.m you know a team was in the area when a Toyota Axi or motor car with the three men was intercepted so the police them say wait I can't look suspicious you know them boy I drive so you know or I care so tinted wait no man we need to check out them boy man you know we, we are doing work you know we can't Take no check, you know. Let, let's see what they're up to. The vehicle was searched and the firearm and ammunition found beneath the driver's seat, according to the police. So the police them do a good work, let's know, you know. Then court date is let, yet to be finalized. So the manager make a welcome this fine, you know, because at the end of the day, another gun off of the streets and another life could be saved. That's all you have to look for it, you know. Yeah, man, so the next tour panelists are now. Here we are going now. Shellyan Allen, the Jamaican cop who smuggled cocaine in her vagina to the United States, has pleaded guilty to drug charges. What? Did we just see right? When they find the cocaine? In, our in her vagina. No, man, this is not normal. Allen, who is 42, was convicted in the Florida Federal District Court on Thursday for importing drugs. She faces up to 40 years in prison. 40 years in a prison? How this woman going to get herself involved in them thing, you know? Yeah, police, you're supposed to serve and protect look after the public you're supposed to be arresting people for carrying drugs or smuggling drugs dealing drugs and all of them look at thing there and instead you have the drugs right up in your niggly eye no man this is the normal people like uno should be dealt with strong by the courts and the legal system because people are look up to uno for protect and serve 
I'll not do that. No man, this is not normal. Allen is also facing allegations that she is the leader of a lottery scamming syndicate that pleased 20 mainly elderly Americans out of 1.6 million US dollars. So wait, this woman is not easy. And so she greedy man. So she had tried to smuggle cocaine you know, up in her niggly eye, right? And then she had the head of the, it, had, it has been alleged that she's the head of the lottery scamming organization. So how much money she wants? So the smuggling thing is not enough. So she have to do scamming too. She must reach me. I like to know where she live because we see if all of these risks where she had take with her life and obviously if she have family, I will bring shame and pain to them, then it must worth it. But there's no justification for criminal activity and wrongdoing. So, I don't think nobody will support what she do. An inspection by U.S. Customs and Border Protection officers revealed that she had a package of cocaine inside her vagina and a package of cocaine inside each of her bra cups. Allen also had 90 pellets of packaged cocaine inside her stomach. So, cocaine in her vagina, cocaine in her soap, in her bra, and then cocaine in her belly. It's a woman and a normal. Border protection officers took her to a local hospital where she expelled the 90 pellets. In total, Allen had over 1,000 grams of cocaine on or inside her body. What could I drive somebody if you take that risk? Both with them life and freedom, because obviously she might go down for 40 years, and her life because wife then cocaine they did bust in her belly. A debt business that in a man. No man. Why well, I may mean, tell you the length where people go through in order to get money. Trust me, I can't understand why. 143 grams in her bra and about 690 grams inside her stomach. You see how much gram of cocaine she have panar in her body? Why? This is how I must say, boy, this is my retirement. In so when I'm done, I'm supposed to be alright. Because, but look, did she know that Uncle Sam have technology? sophisticated technology we can pick her out but she a police officer so should i know better that's about 200 grams in her vagina 200 gram in her vagina wow she mo hey you see when you see all she a passed now you probably are looking her worse if she a wear tight she say wait i who that buff be because she then must look buff because with 200 grams down this side the niggly eye obviously she have a look buff yes so the last but not least you know my promises we have a touch upon some positive news you know a story you know you see that girl here jump me i tell you man you know the jamaican team of you know the athletics team the make we feel proud as usual the, the jamaican team are really really making us feeling proud you know, they're really giving some good performance you know you know people like um you know Campadon, uh russian clark in 49.5 seconds he raced the class one boys 400 meter hurdle mark set by jamaica college javia brown you know which was 49.86 last year so a new record was set you know by these youngsters you know we know say boy and next usain bolt all of those champions over the years at jamaica barn you know and i make me feel proud you know and i give us some really really good time you know we just can't wait for champs I talk world championship now, you know, but can't wait for Olympics. We see these youngsters, you know, a break from the scene, you know, and I, you know, then debut and I kind of set their name and make their name, you know. Jamaica always make me feel proud, man. Always make me feel proud. The girls, the boys, you know, champs are touched on. Really, really happy news. I hope you have a light, you know, because I really put some really, really nice smile on my face you know yeah man please remember you know if you touch up the like button you know touch up the subscribe button and touch up the bell see you all go on now you're gonna jet off you know